go to Calvary right there leaving now. Yeah, yeah. There you go, two of your boys leaving now down now. Throw the curtains on. Throw the curtains on them cat. What up, Jay? Throw the curtain on. Look at Remy Ma, y'all. Papu. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at Remy Ma and Papu, man. What's going on? I ain't gonna lie, this shit got me dying. Salute the Papu, salute to Easy to Block Captain, salute to Remy Ma. But with all the speculation that's been going on for these last couple months, are they really together or not? Are they doing it for the league? Did they really break up? Did they really fight? All that happened, right? And even with what just happened, what I'm showing y'all, it's not saying that they're together. But it's basically saying they're together. Like, all these months later, we can't keep saying, oh, the Chrome 23 shit. The, like, they trying to get the league popping and this and that and the third. And it's all for publicity, da-da-da. No, no, no. This behind the scenes and the locker room-ish type stuff that just got caught randomly. No. I think this proves that they're together. And I was almost like, nah, it's a little possibility that they not together. Pap still, but he been doing so much lately. Salute to Tune Core, salute to his position. Um, but you ain't been seeing nothing involving Remy. Nothing, saying nothing about Remy, period. And you know how he was on it. Now, the only way that they're still together is if they really, like, she's building her business, he's building his business, and they just trying to do everything to make it come together. If not, this is clear as day that Remy and... Easy to block captain are together. At the Phillies, excuse me, at the Philadelphia Eagles, I think they played the Dallas Cowboys. I'm saying these niggas in the back. I'm saying looking like a couple, basically. I'm not lying to myself no more. These niggas together. What y'all think? Am I tripping or is this clear proof that like it's not clear because like nobody said it, but then again, what do you gotta say? Yo, the dude that recorded it, he didn't even know he was catching gold. And that shit was so funny when he found out, oh, shit, that might be our other man. My bad. And got on camera. <laughs> Yo, that shit is crazy, man. Um, It is what it is, though. What I'm saying? Fuck it. Y'all together, man. No, no, no. Because I got the female. I feel you. I feel you, boy. Okay, I want to break down a few things. First of all, if you're on my channel, definitely go check out the Papoose and Easy to Block Captain gets into a fight skit. And then check out the Papoose finally responds to Easy to Block Captain and Remy Ma skit. They both skits, and I'm saying go check them out, go support, like, comment, you know, subscribe to the channel and all that. But anyway, let's break this down a little bit. So other proof other reasons that we thought that this was possible first of all they're saying papoose knocked out easy to block captain that's all where it started now mind you that was the day before father's day right so when we went to go check remember papoose made that post um real niggas do real things and this nigga easy to block captain eventually responded saying basically clear it up you know what i'm saying for i do right now on top of that father's day was like the next day when you go to when you go to Papoose's IG, he has a picture of him and his kids. You know what I'm saying, but he don't have nothing with Remy Ma. You know what I'm saying, and mind you, this is Father's Day. Remy Ma don't even make a post saying Happy Father's Day to my husband or this and then the third da 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 this and then the third. Now, when she did make a post, I think she made a post on his birthday or some shit, and she said "Love you for life" and all that kind of shit, but not "I love you." I'm saying then you got Papoose and Remy matching clothes. Then you got um 
like I said, man, Papoose hasn't posted Remy since. You know what I'm saying? She hasn't posted him. But then you got videos that showing like her without her ring and shit like that. Like I thought that was like a big deal. But then I saw um other videos where she didn't have her ring on. You know what I'm saying? And I think it was just like, you know what I mean? Photo shoots and this and then the third or some shit. Just being around the house type shit. I'm saying so that shit had you going back and forth, da da da. But like I said, this last joint, man, I don't know, ain't that much chilling in the world, man. Like, you go to you go with your husband to sports games and all that kind of shit. And I get it, like, you know what I'm saying, even business partners, you could do that. And I get it's in Philly, you know what I'm saying? But same time, I feel like it just makes sense that they're together now, man. It is what it is, man. And, like, we got to be honest. Niggas that's in a battle rap, like, that's active, that's in the mix, that be at the par uh, the events and all that kind of shit, they probably know more than what the public knows. So even niggas saying that this nigga got knocked out, maybe he didn't get knocked out. Maybe he got punched and fell. You know what I'm saying? Some shit happened real quick. But mind you, I don't know if y'all remember, it's some audio that Easy the Block Captain's kind of talking about her man, her ex man, if her so called side nigga, some shit, if you had to hit him, some like he was talking, basically saying like he got hit, like her supposed side nigga, and this and that and the third. So, long story short, I'm putting that audio in here, fuck it. But I want y'all to judge for yourself and let me know, man. Um, Honestly, man, I don't really don't give a fuck like that. Like, I'm not in a business like that to the point where that's what I'm saying. Like, I. I have vlogs set up for this shit a while ago that I never dropped because I was just like, man, I don't even care to be in a business fully like that. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, go check them skits out. Them shits is funny. But, um, and it is what it is because we don't know the, like, the inner workings of, like, what really happened. How did they end up being together if they're together? How did Pat Poose and her end up breaking up if they broke up? Was she cheating on the low? Was they, because, like, you got to remember, she did, like, seven years, my nigga. They was fucking around before that and after that. So they've been dealing with each other for mad long. So relationships happen like that where it's like you think you're going to be together forever, but then shit happens and you don't. Or you meet somebody new or the love ain't the same. You know what I'm saying? Thank God, like, they do got a blessing in it. You know what I'm saying? They had a baby, a baby girl. She looked just like Remy. She's so cool and shit. But um, at the end of the day, man, I just hope that everything works out for the better, you know what I'm saying? But it's crazy with relationships, especially marriage and shit, like, motherfuckers might fuck around, realize what they was, like, you needed that little fix, but then now you want to be back together, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, like, don't happen like that. Everybody don't grow with their parents together, you know what I'm saying? So this is, like, the reality of life, but it's just that they're in the public, and supposedly some fighting happened. We, not, we don't know Papoose for, like, fighting, as far as like, oh shit, this nigga Papoose gonna set it off on a nigga. We don't know that for him as far as the public eye. So, obviously he, he probably on morals and principles and respect type shit. But same time, it's like, so when you hear he fought, it's like controversy. Drama period, violence, battle rap, hip hop, then relationships. Like, that was the top things that get you like... You know what I mean? Get you talked about, get people paying attention, get people asking questions, all that kind of shit. So it all works. Like I said, if it was for Chrome, Chrome 23 and Papoose doing his tune core thing and this and that, then job well done. Y'all definitely got us mm, feeling like y'all broke up. But on the other side, y'all broke up. And it is what it is. And from the looks of it, I'm just going to break it down. So I'm thinking that Pat Poos off this nigga. And then that's why he made the real niggas do real things post. I'm feeling that they broke up because obviously she didn't even say. Happy Father's Day on Father's Day. To your baby father. To your husband. Then y'all get caught right here. And the funniest thing is the nigga in the background. He recording live. He, he happy because he from out of town. But he got access to behind the scenes type shit so the nigga back there doing this on one two and then he see them niggas and then he see remy he like i mean he happy for remy remy oh shit got that side nigga toe easy but yo it's your boy mark black like comment subscribe to the channel this molly and mine fuck with me man fuck with me to the next time